had a very interesting hearing yesterday before the Senate Judiciary Committee. You may have seen excerpts from it on Fox or on uh, TVW. Um, I had asked the Task Force on Race and the Criminal Justice System to give a preliminary report. They're doing their final report now. Um, on racial disparity in decisions by the police, prosecutors, jurors, and judges, unconscious decisions, decisions that are not overtly racist in any way or form, don't get me wrong, but which exacerbate an existing problem with differential rates of crime commission in different communities. You may recall that um, one of the then sitting Supreme Court justices last year made a very unfortunate statement, uh, told that there were more, uh, there's a disparity of blacks, especially in prison and Latinos, said, well, that's because blacks commit more crime. The commission, to its credit, rather than just go oppose this, said, let's study this first and oppose it on the basis of facts rather than just another opinion. They did, and their facts are startling. And from the point of view of somebody interested in the state criminal justice system, embarrassing. Um, there may be a differential commission rate of crime in different racial communities. Justice Sanders' statement was not disproven by these facts. However, much more important than whatever contribution a higher crime rate creates is the exaggeration of these problems in the way the prosecutors charge, well, that police arrest, prosecutors charge, judges make internal decisions, and jurors convict, and then judges sentence. All of those points along the trajectory of a criminal case are subject to some degree of racial bias, uh, particularly against black males, to a lesser extent against Latinos. Um, and that, like I said, is embarrassing. The problem is this. These are the decisions of a few hundred judges in 39 counties, uh, in superior district and municipal courts, under laws that are racially neutral on their face, that are not, you couldn't point to anything in any of these laws that says this is intended to be interpreted more harshly against blacks than whites, or against Latinos than whites. So these, funct these policies are all racially neutral, and these hundreds of judges interpret them without any overt, or without very much, overt racism. That isn't the issue. It's that subtle distinctions in the way they see a defendant translate into, say, differential bail decisions, differential sentences. Uh, black males are less likely to get a mitigated sentence, that is a sentence below the legal minimum, which a judge can do with reasoning. White males get that, black males less. That's embarrassing. We have to correct that. But how does a legislature act to correct policies that are already racially neutral, but they're interpreted by police, prosecutors, and judges in racially very non-neutral ways? We're looking at that. What can we do? There are a couple of ideas that are Floating around, uh, we may change um, a few of the statutes that are on particular crimes, but that's not going to get to the systemic problem here. We can have greater educational programs for judges or for lawyers who are becoming judges. We could require uh, attendance at the Judicial College in Nevada, which we already do, but maybe append to that some outreach programs to new judges in really making sure that they examine their own motives, look closely into themselves, and make sure that over the course of a day's work on the arraignment calendar or a year's work in court, that their own personal biases are dealt with and that their decisions aren't affected by them. We're all human beings. There's no Bull Connor in this picture. These are all honest officers, police officers, prosecutors, judges, and jurors who are trying to do their best, but who are affected by the racial disparities that are in the minds of all of us. Um, all we can ask is that they do their best and try to not let that affect their work. 
With the understanding that we're human, including us legislators, uh, it's hard work, but ultimately I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.